East Rutherford, New Jersey. Giant Stadium to be exact is the setting for today's game. Both of today's teams are looking to add another win to their total and give their team some momentum as the end of the season draws near. Thanks for joining us as the Rams square off against the Giants. They're lined up for the kickoff so let's get this game started. Dickerson, he's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Burleson. The Giants will start the drive from the 20-yard line. Ball on their own 20. They line up in the I formation. Shockey comes in motion. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Hand it off. Spencer. Thornton is there for the tackle at the 24-yard line. As a coach, you need to make sure that you establish your running game as a weapon that can hurt the other team. Gain of four. Ball on their own 24. They'll go from the shotgun. Rowing. Daniels is there First on the stop at the 41. You give him some time, he'll hit his man. And the thing is, he doesn't care how big that window is. With his accuracy, everyone's open. First Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41 yard line. Let's go, B, let's go. On the carry. Number 58 comes up Johnson, to make the play the at the 45-yard line. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hand. Second and seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. Regular. Get some slug going! Watch out! Under pressure, incomplete. When you let the defense get into your backfield that quickly, bad things are going to happen to you. Third and seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. From the start, from the start. The Rams come out in a dime package. I can do it, baby. Left, left. Rowing. This one falls incomplete. The back was a good receiver out of the backfield. It could really give you that extra dimension on offense. You have to find a way to try and catch it when your hands are on it. Harris comes into the game for the punt. Anderson sets up to run back the punt. Fair catch. Well, John, we've looked forward to this all week long. One of the top running backs in the league against one of the most dominant defensive units. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. It's the old strength versus strength thing. This defense has a great front four and good team speed. This can be a heck of a game. New York lines up in a 4-3. A little misdirection. The keeper gets right in there and brings him down. That one started off poorly and only got worse. And that defensive line did a better job than the offensive line, and that's how they were able to get penetration to stop that play in the backfield. Ball on their own five. Ball on the five-yard line. we going to take it. The Giants come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Completed pass to the wide receiver. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Davis didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of playing something fancy, like going for the pick. Here is a third and long situation. No, sends a man in motion. Hands it off to the back. Comes up to make the play. The ball carrier is not short. It'll probably lead to a punt. The 
Miller is ready to punt this one away. Carlson lines up deep for the punt return. From the 42, can't bring him down. Carlson doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to the 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. The 33-yard line. First and ten. Fakes the throw. Pressure coming. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. And you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact play. Following the sack, it's second and long. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Rams come out in a 4-3. Throws it. He had a shot, but couldn't come up with it. He put the ball exactly Johnson, where you want to put it. On the play. Third and long. Ball on the 39-yard line. Everything you've got. This is ready. With the pass, he couldn't control it. Two balls thrown perfectly that they couldn't grab. Now it's fourth down. You usually won't see two drops in a row, but it's especially bad because they haven't moved the chain. Harris will come in now to punt it away. Anderson looks like he's ready for the return. He signals for a fair catch. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here it goes. And let's go one deep. New York goes with a four man front. Gets the call. Thurman comes up to make the play at the 25 yard line. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. Five yard game. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. Hey, let's go. The Giants line up in a 4-3. Great play in the backfield by Julian Peterson. Good play by the linebacker to get in there and run for a loss. You're going to see him make those kind of plays. And when he does, it really gets the rest of the defense fired up. Third and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Giants come out in a nickel package. Pressure. Can't avoid the rush. It's almost like they knew what the snap count was going to be in that one. When he sees a rush coming, he has to know who his hot lead is and get the ball to him more quickly. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Miller comes into the game for the punt. Burleson is back to receive this kick. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 48 yard line. The ball on their own 48. The drive at the 48 yard line. First and 10. Johnson, the lone setback. Little misdirection. Number 58 is there for the tackle. You know, that's what this defense will do to you. They're so good in pursuit that if you start trying to go east and west in the backfield, you're in trouble. I'd try and run the ball right at them. That'll negate the speed that these guys have to the outside. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Rams come out in a 4-3. Rowing. Makes the play. Johnson, makes Andre the Johnson was talking Johnson about having a great game. year when we interviewed him during training camp, and he's had one. A thousand yards receiving now for him. First and ten. Ball on the 40 yard line. Go, go, go. Watch your eyes, the Rams come out in a nickel back. 
Hand it off. They're going to spot this one at the 33. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Second and maybe three. Ball on the 33 yard line. Dropping back with the throw. He finds his man. This one will be spotted at the 24. It's his third tackle in the contest. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. Ball on the 24 yard line. Johnson, the lone back. He tucks it away. Can't get it from behind. Colvin is there for the tackle. Johnson picks up some tough yards there. Second and five. Everything you got. The Rams line up in a 4-3. Parker is there on the stop, and he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking, and when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. First 12 yards ten. needed to get into the end zone. Johnson, the man in motion. Hands it off. Thornton comes up to make the play at the nine. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Nine yards, they'll be in the end zone. Nine yards. Shockey goes in motion. The blitz is on. Great for the wide receiver. Touchdown, New York. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and a touchdown. Point after is good. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. In to kick this one off. Anderson back to return. And he got all of that one. A great kick. This one is taken by Anderson. It's still very early, but this is one of those spots where you'd like to be able to respond and put the ball in the end zone. The ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. New York lines up in a 4-3. He takes the delayed handoff. Thurman is there for the tackle at the 23. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Ball on their own 23. The Rams come out in the bunch formation. Give it to the halfback. Harrell is there on the stop at the 26-yard line. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Ball on their own 26. New York comes out in their nickel package. Gets rid of it. Look from the wide receiver to move the chains on the third down catch by Glenn. And that's what he does. If you need a big third down play and you need a first down, you look for this guy. First and ten. Defense, get ready. Very hard and fast, baby. Oh, 
using split backs. With the pass, it's batted away. He's always been able to catch a ball. He has soft hands and good body control. He ran a good route, and the quarterback made the right read. He just didn't bring it in. Second and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. Keep moving. Keep it up. Set Here we go, baby. Uh -huh. go, baby. Looking for room. They'll go with a play fake. Right Gets rid of it. Jumps up and comes down with it. Davis fails his quarterback out by making a spectacular catch. Yeah, that was an unbelievable catch. That took the ability to block out the entire field and focus on bringing them in. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. Get it up! We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 7 0. Giants. And we're ready to start the second quarter. So we have first and ten here. Here we go. The Giants line up in a 4 3. Crosses it out to the left. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 37. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Ball on the 37 yard line. Ball on the 37 yard line. All day, baby. Come on. New York goes with a four man front. Kiefer comes up to make the play at the 36-yard line. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. One-yard gain on that play. So it's third down as they try to get it to at least the 28 and convert. The Giants come out in a dime package. Dumps it off. And he makes the grab. Farland can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up fourth down. Miller will try to have this one stop inside the 10. And he signals for the fair catch. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here we go, baby, rock and roll. We're talking about green. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up for the quarter. Dropping back the pass on first down. He couldn't control it. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever claim he's never dropped the pass. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Johnson, the lone back, Breeze with a man in motion. Drops back. With the pass. Number 58 is there for the tackle. When you let a short pass get completed, you better be a good tackle. And a pickup of about two. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. Hey, let's go. Throwing. It it's a screen. Strong move. And he's taken down on the backfield. By Ray Lewis. A great defensive effort to keep them from getting close to the stakes. Well, there aren't too many plays in the playbook for third and lap. You got to try something other than a short route. is ready to pump this one away. Anderson sets up, waiting for the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 40 yard line. First 
First Ball on their ten. own 40. Ball, Ball on the 40 yard line. Let's go now. And let's go one deep. They saw it. Alexander, the lone back. King is there for the tackle at the 44-yard line. You have a good balance of run and pass on offense. The defense doesn't have a chance to focus in on either one of them. They need to be prepared to cover both options. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44-yard line. What's the hard count? New York lines up in a 4-3. Gets rid of it. Almost picked off. And he's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The Giants come out in a nickel back. Throwing. Pass rolls incomplete. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. Miller will come in now to punt it away. Carlson is the deep return man. This one goes out of bounds. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Breeze with a man in motion. On the ground. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 35-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Rams come out in a 4-3. Looking to run it here. Coleman is there on the stop at the 38. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. From the start, from the start. Breeze sends a man in motion. Give it to the halfback. Great fake. Throwing. He hits his receiver. Harper is there for the tackle. The run after the catch is so important. It allows you to run short patterns with the confidence that you can pick up more yardage once the catch is made. Ball on the 43 yard line. Ball on the 43 yard line. Come on. Go low. Go low. Watch the man. We're coming around. Watch it. Hand it off to the back. This one will be spotted at the 35-yard line. It's three tackles so far for him today. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ball on the 35-yard line. Let's go! The Giants come out of the bunch formation with the pass. They'll spot this one at the 17. He wraps up the goal carrier. His tackle total is now four. And you give him time, he'll find a receiver. Yeah, and with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind them. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. First ball on the 17-yard line. Ball on the 17-yard line. Come on! They'll make this a two-possession game if they get into the end zone of this drive. They're just inside the 20. Is there for the tackle at the five? John, two guys converged on and both missed. Yeah, it's because they got beat by a very slippery runner. But that's inexcusable for both guys to miss him after getting a clean shot. First it's first and goal, and goal at the five-yard line. One back. Only one man back. They give it to the halfback. Ferguson comes up to make the play. At no the six-yard line. The yep, you've got one guy going boom, the other guy going whap, and the guy trying to run it in for the score, and he's going nowhere. It's second, second and goal, goal the at six the six. All right, here we go. Hey, what's that three? The Rams come out of the nickel pack.
Looks to the end zone. This pass is incomplete. Well, he saw the receiver hauling it in, and then boom, he pops him, and it ends up incomplete. Harper with the coverage. It's third and goal at the six-yard line. The Rams come out in a nickel package. Come on. Drops back. Closing in. Weaver gets the sack. When you think about guys who have a big heart, this guy has to be at the top of the list. He just never lets up out there. He now has two sacks. We'll try to come through with the field goal here. The field goal attempt is good. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. This one in the air. Nice distance. This one is fielded by Anderson. The defense forced the punt the last time after three plays. The Almost at the two minute mark the now. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Goal sends a man in motion. Gave it off. Power in the net. The 30. He'll feel that one tomorrow. Showing a lot of strength breaking that tackle. That was a great effort because he avoided taking a big hit and he got a first down out of it. We've reached the two-minute mark. The Giants with a four-man front. Skate in motion. Looking to run it here. Clements is there for the tackle at the 38. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Under pressure, throwing. He hits his receiver. He put something extra on that throw that it keeps the chains moving. And that's what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick that one millisecond can make a difference. He'll pass on first down. Pressure coming. It's rid of it. He finds his man. Great throw to reach the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. It's a blitz. Sack. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down, and he picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Pressure on the move. Almost intercepted. And what the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're pulling. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Third and long. Ball on the 44-yard line. Alexander, the lone back, throws it. And he drops the pass. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Comes into the game for the punt. Burleson back to return. And he chooses not to return this one. Touchback. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. 
The Rams line up in a 4-3. Going to the air on first down. Closing in, rowing. And he ducks out of bounds at the 32. You talk about great concentration. Watch this. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. And it appears this one is going to be looked at. Yeah, and because it's in the last two minutes, that call came down from the replay booth. And as the official takes a look at the play, so will we. And the issue here is that the official called him out of bounds. Now you have to look at not only did he get both feet in bounds, but did he have possession? After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. The player had control of the ball. Pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. First it's first and ten. Johnson, the lone setback. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. That was a good play, turned bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Second and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Watch the snap now. The Rams come out in a 4 3. Here comes the blitz. Gets the pass off. He hits his target. Perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns, can thread it in there against tight coverage, and he can put some air in it when he's trying something downfield. It's first and ten. Keep the throttle down. They line up in the I formation. Under pressure, going long to the left. Trying for the end zone before halftime. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play, but they let it get away. The backs are lined up in an eye. Breeze with a man in motion. Drops back. Long throw. This pass is incomplete. If you're going to miss, it's better to miss loss. You put it up there where your receiver is going to go get it. Now, if you miss, it'll generally end up in incompletion. And that's a heck of a lot better than missing short, given the defense a shot at the interception. Johnson was his intended target. The Rams come out in a dime package. Throws to the end zone. The defense was coming after him on that play. You knew he didn't have much time, and he decided to get rid of the ball quickly on that one. Harris is ready to pump this one away. Anderson into return. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Great coverage by the kicking team as they downed it at the five-yard line. Yeah, they did a heck of a job of getting down there and setting up their defense with great field position. First Ball on their ten. own five. Ball on the five-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. The Giants line up in a 4-3. Okay. 
Kiefer is there for the tackle at the seven. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. And this should be the last play of the half. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. The Giants ahead of the Rams 10-0. This one is taken by Anderson. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. Sean Alexander has had a very tough first half, John. The defense has kept him contained. Yeah, they've really done a good job of keeping him under wrap. Usually you'll run a little less when you're behind. So it's hard to predict how many touches he's going to see in the second half. New York using three linebackers. it away. Clements is there on the stop at the 48. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Full right around midfield. New York lines up in a 4-3. With the throw, it's going the other way. The alert cornerback gets the interception. He has a way of becoming a receiver. He just shadows so well. First After the ten. defense gets the takeaway, they're going to set to go at the 48-yard line. The Rams come out in a 4-3. is there for the tackle. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. So a pickup of maybe three. Second and six coming up here. The Rams line up in a 4-3. Give it to the halfback. Keeps his feet moving. Barker is there on the stop at the 42-yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. The 42-yard line. Back it up. From the start, from the start. The Rams with a four-man front. Came off to the tailback. Setting up play action. Going long. He's there for the catch. Touchdown, Giants. A few years ago, I watched Drew Brees, and I thought he was pretty good. He was a pretty good player. Then he had a bad year, and he didn't really start off good. Then something clipped. Some light went on somewhere, and he's become a guy who can make some plays for you. Kading comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Good drive to start the third quarter, John. The coaching staff made some good adjustments in the locker room. They came out moving the ball well. Now the defense has to make their adjustments to keep these guys in check. This one is fielded by Anderson. The Rams have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20. Oh. 
It's first and ten. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Let's go, deep goose. Here's the back. Hand off on the draw. Spencer is there for the tackle at the 21. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Gain of about a yard. Second and nine. Ball of the 21 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. I'm the kid. The Rams line up in a five receiver set this time. With the pass. In incomplete. Pass. And we Goal update our stats after incomplete. that last play. Here's what he's had to endure when back to throw. Third and nine. Ball on the 21 yard line. The Giants come out on a nickel package. Fires this one deep. It's caught. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 42. Very, very effective play call that time. A pickup of 37 on third down. First and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. On the call. Fakes the handoff. Long throw. Drops the interception. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go now. Watch your man. New York comes out in their nickel package. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. Lamb was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Third and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. The Giants come out in a dime package. It's the pass off. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. That's a little surprising. The receiver's coach has been spending extra time with all his guys on offense working on mechanics and their technique. He told me that he's seen a big improvement. But a big drop on third down like that shows that they still need a little more work. Carlson will go back to accept this punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. is the deep back. Stalwart, the man in motion. Gets the delayed handoff. They'll spot this one at the 20-yard line. And he his third tackle of the game. Johnson finds some room after taking the handoff, and it looks like about a five-yard pickup. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Rams with a four-man front. In this direction. John Thorpe brought him down for his third tackle. Great call that time as he's able to get it past the marker for a first down. They line up in the eye formation. Hand it off. Setting up play action. Gets rid of it. What a catch. Fumble. The Rams scoop up the fumble. He was able to rip that one away from the ball carrier. Ball on the 43 yard line. Ball on the 43 yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Go with a man in motion. He tucks it away. They'll spot this one at the 33-yard line. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game.
Second down and short. Hey, watch that screen! New York comes out in their nickel package. Throws it incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. St. Louis fails once again to get the first down, and that's seven times. Yeah, and that's huge for the defense to keep stepping up on third down like that. They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. Dickerson needs to put everything he has into this one. The field goal is missed, and still nothing on the board for them. After the missed field goal, they'll set up shot at the 43-yard line. They both left. Keep moving. He gets the count. Setting up play action. Pressure coming. Need to avoid the rush. He felt the pressure coming, but he couldn't get the ball out. He's got to do a better job of making his read and getting the ball out of there a little more quickly. Second and 15. Ball on the 38-yard line. the hard count? The Rams come out in a nickel package. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Lewis had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Third and 15. Ball on the 38-yard line. Free starts out of the shotgun. Blitz is coming. Pressure looking for something long. Incomplete pass. Won the battle at the line of scrimmage and forced a bad throw. Every quarterback needs a little time to look over the field. There we saw a defense who wasn't given any time at all. will come in now to punt it away. Anderson lines up deep for the punt return. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. Start the drive at the 23-yard line. First and 10. The Giants go, come out in a 4-3. Hey, let's go. Closing in, gets the pass off. Broken up, number 21. Who's there on the cover? On the cover. Second and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Let's go. Here we go. The Giants line up in a 4-3. Going long. Almost picked off. Close to a big play by the defense. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Third and ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. Hold the rope. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Dropping back. Pumps once, looking for the long completion. What a catch. Clements comes up to make the play. And the 22. Terry Glenn has the speed and the moves to beat you deep. Ball on the 22-yard line. Ball on the 22-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. New York comes out in a 4-3. Keeps his feet 
Craig is there on the stop at the 21-yard line. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. They're threatening inside the 20. Key series here as they're in the red zone trying to stay in the game. Gets the toss to the right. Thurman is there for the tackle at the 18. Alexander slashes ahead for a gain of three. It's third down. They have to get it to the 12 for a first. Inside the 20 for the first time today, and we're in the third quarter. Pump baking to the end zone. Almost on a second. And because of that drop, would be interception. They can still pick a field goal. You can't miss chances like that to steal points away. Dickerson missed a long field goal his last time out. Let's see how he fares on this one. The kick is good. Is good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is handled by Burleson. They forced a three and out on the last series. They'll so they have first and ten here. First and ten. The Rams come out in a 4-3. Receives the handoff. Weaver is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. He's very consistent running the ball. He's given them a solid rushing attack today. Second and three. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Rams line up in a 4-3. Incomplete pass. That short pass is incomplete. It'll be third down now. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. The Rams with a four-man front. Rowing. It's broken up. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. They're unable to pick up the first down, and here comes the punting unit again for the sixth time. And he chooses not to return this one. This team is going to have to focus a lot more than they did in the first half if they're going to come back. First Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. From the start, from the start. There we go. New York comes out on a 4 3. Looking for room. Keeps his feet moving. Number 21 is there on the stop at the 36-yard line. Unusual call in this situation, John. Generally, you're going to see a pass of some kind in that situation. Second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. New York using three linebackers. The blitz is on. Throws it. Knocked away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass on a spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Caldwell was the intended receiver on that play. Third and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. 
I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping him today. Peterson had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. He'll drop a few like that one. Nothing happening on that drive and they'll punt it away. the 30. Burleson doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 35 yard line. Ball on their own 35. The Rams come out in a 4-3 with the carry. Lewis is there for the tackle. And he picks up about four on the play. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Hey, watch that three. The Rams with a four man front. Give it to the halfback. Keeping him at this. This one will be spotted at the 46 yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. At the end of three, the score is 17 3. Giants. The Rams. And we'll start the fourth quarter. So they have first and 10 here. The 46 yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. The blitz is on. It's broken up. Here's what happened. The quarterback just didn't have a throwing lane for his pass. And when he let that one go, the lineman got his hand up and he batted it down at the line. Way. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 44 to convert. The Rams line up in a 4-3. He gets the count. Number 58 tackles him, but not before the first down is reached. They'll move the change again after another long gain on the ground. You know, I was talking to the coach the other day, and he said he wanted to emphasize the run a little more. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Ball on the 44-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Stalwart comes in motion. Hand it off to the back. They're going to spot this one at the 41-yard line. It's the fourth stop he's made today. Johnson battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. Ball on the 41-yard line. Under pressure with the pass, he hits his receiver. Stalwart makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Third down, they have to get it to the 34-yard line for a first. Hand it off. Keeps his feet moving. Harper comes up to make the play at the 26. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Slips the tackle. 
Number 58 is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. Johnson battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. And this is the 10th play of this drive. The Rams come out in a nickel package. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Harper comes up to make the play at the 8-yard line. With that completion, he's now over 200 yards passing. It's first and goal at the 8. Here we go, baby, rock and roll. Go low, go low. The Rams with a four-man front. He hands it off. Great fake. Pressure coming. Drew Brees can't escape, and he's brought down. Another one. That makes four times they've brought him down. It's second and goal at the 13. They got nothing. Get it on. The Rams come out in a nickel package. Clear! Clear! He tucks it away. Number 58 comes up to make the play at the nine. Trying to run it in on second and goal. No dice. It's third and goal at the nine yard line. The Rams come out in a nickel package. Hand off to the tailback. They'll spot this one at the two. The tackle is his fifth of the game. Fourth down upcoming, but they're in position to add to their lead. Yeah, and that's what they want to do. Control the ball in the clock. Uh, getting into position to add at least three points. Not much more than an extra point here. The attempt is good. Following the field goal, the score is 20 to 3. Giants. He's just about ready to kick this one away. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is fielded by Anderson. They need one quick score and then some more. Ball on their own 20. First and 10. Giants line up in a 4-3. Gets rid of it. Leaps from the wide receiver. A successful offense is one that can run and throw for good yardage on first down. Ten-yard gain that time. Second down and short. Ball on the 30-yard line. Defense, get ready. Hey, let's go one deep. Out of the shotgun. Dropping back with the throw. And he can't find a way to keep possession. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Third and inches. Ball on the 30 yard line. No time, baby. Screen down. Dimebacks in for this play. Keep the throttle down. Fires this one deep. The pass falls incomplete. Lamb was the guy they were trying to throw to deep. Lewis had the coverage on the ball. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Thirty. For 
Harrelson. Appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. The ball on their own 34. The First and 10. Back handoff. Harper is there on the stop at the 42. I like how this big guy can run with the football. Yeah, and this fullback can do more than just get out there and lead block. Give him the ball and watch him rumble. Burleson returns from being injured. Plenty of in this game. Two minute warning coming up. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Rams come out in a 4 3. Minutes to go. The Rams with a four man front. Hand it off to the back. Number 58 is there for the tackle at the 50. Johnson battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pickup. Third and five. Ball on the 50 yard line. Blue game, blue game. Let's go. The Rams line up at a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Number 58 stops him for negative yardage. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. They made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anyone. This is a luxury of being ahead. Anderson looks like he's ready for the return. From the 18. 34 yard punt. Return for a gain of four yards. They'll take over at the 23 yard line. First and 10. The Giants come out in a nickel pack. Here comes the blitz. Nearly intercepted. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. You gotta have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. The Giants come out of the nickel pack. Stepping up, gets rid of it. And the catch is made. Timeout called by the offense. Defense! 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 Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Giants come out in a nickel pack. Let's the pass play on third and short. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. This is big time football right here. The game's on the line on a fourth down when you need a yard or two to keep your drive alive. I think you just bring in all those big old linemen, tell them you need a first, and let your back just follow them past the marker. Hand it off to the back. Number 21 is there on the stop at the 33. So they failed to convert on fourth down, and that'll mark the end of their comeback hopes. 
Absolutely. They had to get the ball into the end zone to have any shot at all. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. No need for anything else but taking a knee here to finish this one out. He'll take a knee. Second and long. The Rams line up in a 4-3. Hand it off. It's a win. Harper comes up to Johnson make the play. The At the 25, the the play. Larry Johnson has picked up now over 100 yards on the ground. Third it's third down, and they have to get it to the 23 to convert. it off to the back. Will Smith makes the stop and he'll be short of the marker. Nothing doing on that running play so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hand. Katie and the kicking team come on for this field goal attempt. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, New York 20, St. Louis 3. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.